I, I'm with Bianca. Something's wrong. I think it's the uh, baby. Uh, Where are you? Uh, I'm at Erica's. Uh, she, have her lie down. She is. She is. All right. Do whatever you can to keep her calm. I'll be there as soon as I can. Uh, you're going to be okay. He's on his way. I promise you everything is going to be all right. It's gone now. Good. And there's no bleeding. Your vitals are strong. When was the last time you had something to eat? I ate at the picnic. And when was that? Uh, lunchtime hours ago. Maggie, would you do me a favor and fix something for Bianca to eat, please? Yeah, there's a lot of stuff left over. I'll be right back. Great. So what's wrong with me? My best guess is the pain is a result of nervous exhaustion and an empty stomach. So I'm... I'm not gonna miscarry? No. And how do you feel about that? Well, my mother wants me to terminate the pregnancy. And I can't make up my mind. And I thought when the pain started, you were hoping the decision had been made for you. What's this? Ah, uh, that's a letter from Michael Cambius's father. He wanted me to face my future without fear. Well, that's really great advice. That's what we all want for you, Bianca. I don't need any more advice. What I need is... Chow time. So we have cold chicken, coleslaw, <sighs> uh, soda, and ice cream. <laughs> all right, Bianca. Dig in. I can't. Why don't you start with the ice cream and work your way backwards? No, I mean, I can't do this anymore. I need to make a decision. There's plenty of time to decide, Bianca. You know what? The more time I take, the harder this decision is, and the more confused and the more scared I get. I know what I have to do. And again, I have explored all of my options, but this is really the only choice that I can make. And what choice is that? My mother was right. And the statistics back her up. Most women in my situation do what I'm going to do. And it really is the only way out. If I don't do it, then it will be like Michael Cambius is with me for the rest of my life. And what we were talking about before, the shame, Maggie, that that is going to bring to my family and to my child. No. No, this is it. This is this is the only option. It's it's the best choice for everybody involved. Bianca, I think it's really important that you forget about everybody else. Because in the end, you're the one that's going to have to live with this choice. Oh, David, don't you think I know that? I know that better than anyone. I am so sick of going over and over the same questions again and again, having everyone look at me like I'm a bomb about to explode. No, I, I need to... I need to end this. Michael Cambius' father gave me this check. He... He gave me this money so that I would use it to heal myself, and that is what I'm going to do. I'm going to terminate my pregnancy. And I respect that, Bianca. But if you ever want to change your mind No, at any I don't. Point, you know what? I feel like a huge weight has been lifted. And now all I have to do is, is set it up with the clinic. No, I'll take care of that. You just have to tell me when you want to do it. Tomorrow.
As soon as possible. All right, I'll uh, check with Janelle, see what her schedule looks uh, like. David, I want you to do the procedure, if that's okay. I mean, I know that you're a cardiologist. Well, I, I do a full rotation at the clinic, but you might feel more comfortable being with no, a woman. No, I wouldn't. I, I, I want you to do it, because you've been with me since this whole thing started, and I think you should be there when I end it. I feel safe with you. All right. I have two appointments that should take me to 11.30. Is noon too late? Uh, no, that's fine. Um, I can get in a half day at work first. Um, you know, you really shouldn't eat or drink anything after midnight, which is, which is just about now. Well, that's no problem. Well, we could wait another day. No, no, know. David, it, it has to be tomorrow. All right, I'll, I'll call you in the morning to confirm. You don't even have to do that. I'll be there. 11.30 sharp. Well, somebody's going to have to drive you. No. I will. All right. Thank you, Maggie. <sighs> Bianca, I know this was a really hard decision for you. But you've made it. So just leave the rest to me, okay? Right. Thank you. There's no reason that you can't have some ice cream. No, thanks. You don't approve. It's not my call. I, I just want you to be okay. I just want it to be over. Can you understand that? Yes. I can. Let's get out of here. Let's just go take a drive and go look at the stars until the sun comes up, yeah? Yeah. It's a good idea. And it'll be morning before we know it. Oh, look, we have the whole place to ourselves. Oh, and it's a beautiful night. I love this time of year. Yes. Oh, wow. The air is so crisp and everything looks so clear. And it will be exactly the same this time next year. The whole circle of life. Mm. Do you feel that breeze coming off the water? Mm-hmm. It's a total Indian summer. Not too hot, not too cold. It goes swimming. Oh, I dare you. No way. Oh. Are you kidding me? The water's probably freezing. Oh, so what's the worst that could happen? You get popsicle toes? No, or frostbite. Oh, you are such a wuss. I am not a wuss. Okay, I dare you. You dare me? No, I'm sorry. I don't have a swimsuit. Neither do I. Who cares? Come on. Oh, my God, you're so crazy. <laughs> I know. Come on. Oh, do I have to push you? Are you serious? Oh, yeah. Well, I might push you first. <laughs> Let's see. <laughs> Come on. We have to do this. The summer's <laughs> almost over. Come on. On the oh count of three. Oh, my God. One. One. Two. two three. Oh, you are such a wreck. Come on. <laughs> this OK, time I'm not sure. You have to do it. Oh, my God. OK. Ready? OK. <laughs> One, two, three. Oh my god! Oh my god, it's freezing! Oh, sorry! Oh, why did I let you talk me into it? Oh, come on, you was loved freezing. it. No, it was freezing. I did not love it. I did not. Oh, yes, you oh, did. I am one big oh. goosebump. Oh, but it made you feel so alive, right? Oh, oh god. Are you okay? I'm scared. I know. You know, there was a girl in my dorm. She went through the same thing last term. She was really scared, too. How did she deal with it? Did she talk to a counselor? And the counselor told her that it was completely normal to be afraid and scared, and it was okay to be sad. The counselor was right. I don't think I'm gonna sleep tonight. But at least by tomorrow, I won't be pregnant anymore.
You know, whenever I think about that night, which is all the time, I think about what I could have done differently so that things wouldn't have turned out the way they did, and then I wouldn't be pregnant, and I wouldn't need to keep this appointment at the clinic tomorrow, and I keep asking myself, what if? Those what ifs can really tear you apart. I know, but I can't help it. They're stuck in my brain. What if the power hadn't gone out that night? What if I hadn't gone home alone? What if I hadn't gone to Myrtle's at all? What if, you know, Lena and I were in the park that day planning for our future? What if she hadn't left with Adam? What if we had just taken off right then and there and gone to Brussels or to Rome? And what if Lena never came into your life? And what if Lena and Michael ran their scam in some other town or some other state? Then it wouldn't have mattered if you came home by yourself, or it wouldn't have mattered if the lights went out. You would have been safe. You no, know, you can't blame Lena for any of this. She is as much Michael's victim as anyone else, and she has suffered for it. Well, I hate to say it, but you know what? She deserves to suffer. Because if it wasn't for her, then she would have never have led Michael into your life. None of this is Lena's fault. You know what? Michael did what he did all by himself. We should get you home. Tomorrow's going to be a really big day. Right. Big day. Understanding. All the times I forced my way into your life, begged you to give us another chance. I know now how painful that was for you. Every time I made you look at me, all you could see was Michael. And now the unbearable has happened. You're pregnant. You did nothing to deserve such torment. I'm the one who should suffer because I'm the one who brought Michael into your life. Please know that my only wish was to love you. If only I knew some way to make it right, but it's too late. Bianca, I tried waiting up, but I couldn't keep my eyes open. Don't hesitate to wake me if you need me. I love you, Mom. She's going to be so relieved when I tell her what I've decided. That's what she's pushed for from the very beginning. You know, you keep on bringing up what your mom wants. Do you have a problem with that? No, but... Are you ending this pregnancy because you want to, or because you want to make your mom happy? Maggie, you know that I have agonized over this decision. How can you possibly question my motives? It's just because your mom, her name keeps on popping up, which she wants, which she's... You know what? We're not having this conversation right now. I have already made up my mind, my mind, Maggie, and I don't want to think about it anymore. I want to think about what classes we're taking at, at PVU and how many courses I can fit into my schedule, okay? Okay. okay. I'm, I'm sorry. I... No, I'm sorry. I'm... Please don't listen to me. I'm so stressed out. I know you are. 
That's why I am going to be your real tomorrow and a hand if you need to hold on to. Of course I'm going to need a hand to hold on to. You know what, Maggie? It is a good thing that you and I never hooked up because, God, what a mess that would have been. Oh, don't worry about it. You're not my type either. <laughs> oh, you know what I mean. I mean, our friendship. I would have totally screwed everything up, and I don't think I would have survived any of this without you. Thank you. I love you. I love you, too. Oh. If only you knew how much. It's all for you. Bianca, wait. Greenlee, you're, you're like the last person that I want to see right now. I, I can understand that. Look, I just came here to be alone, okay? I have an appointment and, and I, I needed a few minutes just to not think about anything. I can leave if you want. Well, I'm glad to see you. Why? You've never been glad to see me before. What's changed? Oh, do you feel sorry for me now? No. I mean, yes. What Michael did to you was... Look, Greenlee, you know, just because my Uncle Jack is your father, it doesn't mean that I'm going to forget about all the terrible things that you have done to me and to my mother. I'm not asking you to. Well, good. Because what you did to their wedding, the way you ruined it like I that... I know, I know. <laughs> it was selfish and it was nasty. I know. Just like you are. Bianca, my whole world was falling apart. I know it doesn't compare to what you've been through, but it mattered a lot to me, okay? Look, why don't we talk about something else? Like what? Clearly, you need to vent. And there's someone who's driving us both nuts right now. Why don't we, why don't we bash Kendall? She deserves it after what she's No, I'm not going to talk about Kendall. I care, it doesn't matter to me. She's your sister. Are you thinking about Leo right now? How did you know? This is your place. This is where you got married. You keep twisting your ring around again and again. Oh. I wish you were here now. For you. Thanks, so do I. You were a really good friend to him, Bianca. He was my best friend. Mine too. I know it's not the same, but I, I could try. Let's not push it, Greenlee. You a lot, Bianca. And if Leo were here, he'd want to make sure you're okay. Well, I am okay, so you and everybody else can just stop asking me. What? What's the matter? Uh, broken nail. Oh, you're not good. Uh, no, no, it's, it's easy. Nails. Come here. It's come nothing. here. Please. Please. No, come on. You want to look good for your appointment, don't you? It doesn't really matter how I look. Of course it does. Of course it does. Let me see. Here we are. May I? Sure. testimony in court about what Michael did to you. 
It's the bravest thing I've ever seen anyone do. Obviously, I'm not very good at it. I didn't mean to make you cry. You didn't do anything wrong. It's okay. I cry at cereal commercials these days. Me too. Me too. Everyone's always cheerful and, and normal and awake. Yeah. It's so American and so foreign to me. At least I'm not alone. You're not. Yanka, you've been so amazing. I don't know how you do it. Well, um... You know, most days I, I go through half the day before I even realize it, and... And then I just wake up and... You know, there I am, just doing whatever I'm doing. Does that make any sense? More than you know. Anyway, thank you for saying what you said. It was... It was nice to hear. I guess I just have a lot going on right now. Do you want me to finish your nail? Yeah, sure. Thank you. Leo would know all the right things to say, but he was terrible with an emery board. Well, nobody's perfect. Leo was. You know, I know I can't take his place or say that you and I should be best friends, but we are cousins, Bianca, and we do share a connection. And if Eric ever ropes Jackson into exchanging vows again, we could be stepsisters. <laughs> Scary thought. Which part? Be okay with it if my mom married your dad? Okay would be stretching it. But if it made Jackson happy, I can accept it. The same way he's accepted me as part of his family, you know? And maybe, hopefully, someday he will too. So, in conclusion, having a... This is fusion. Yeah, it's nice, huh? It's okay. Okay, it's fabulous, and you know it. But with Kendall running the show, it may be discontinued, so you might want to stock up on it while you have the chance. Yeah, I'll get right on that. <laughs> <laughs> well, my, 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 what do we have here? Uncle Jack. Hi. Hi. Well, I had no idea you two were so, uh, friendly. Oh, well, we're not. Really? God, no. Yeah, in the past, Greenlee and I really only had one thing in common. Yeah, we just never really wanted to admit it. Yeah, and that would be Leo, I take it. Yeah, but, um, now we have somebody else in common. Yeah, somebody pretty spectacular. <sighs> I'm so glad you're here. At least now Lena will know that I'm making her a serious offer. Okay. Okay. Lena! You sure that was her car in the parking lot? Yeah, I'm positive. That's weird. Lena? Lena? Lena. Is she okay? I don't know. Lena. Oh, God, no. What? No. Lena! Lena? Lena. Lena, wake oh up. Oh, my God, Lena. Lena! Lena, wake up! Lena, wake up! Lena, Lena, can you hear us? No, uh, my appointment today is not a big deal. It's, um, it's about my mother. Oh, okay. Well, good luck with it. Whatever it is. Thanks. W we'll go. You can stay here. You sure? Yeah. I'll see you later. Okay. 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 Um, Greenlee, uh, sometimes things aren't so bad once you give them a shot.
I won't tell. I wasn't talking. I know. About... You're right, Leo. Bianca's a sweet person. Even if Erica is her mother. Yeah, be, be, before you go in there, can we just talk for just a second, please? Yeah. Um, I know what decision you've made, and I, I, just for my own sake, I'd like to know that it's actually your decision. It's... It's a very difficult choice that you have to make, and whatever you choose, it's fine. I just want to make sure that it's your choice. So if there's been any influence, shall we say, I just want you to know that you can cancel this appointment. I mean, you still have time. Uncle Jack. Well, aren't you ever coming in? Oh, honey, you, you, you've been gone so long. Let me give you a hug. I read your note, and I want you to know that I have never been more proud of you. What you're doing is very, very brave, and it's the right thing to do, honey. So then when, when do we leave for the clinic? Mom, Maggie's gonna take me. Well, that's a good idea. Because I know that you'll feel a lot better if Maggie's there too. Actually, I, I would like it if just Maggie took me. I would rather if you weren't there. Well, honey, you don't have to try to spare me any pain of this day. I mean, it's my place. No, it's not. What I mean is, this is hard enough for me to deal with alone without having to see how painful it is for you, how you take on what I feel and you feel it too. Oh, honey, I'm just trying to share this with you. I'm trying to make it easier for okay. you, if that's possible. I know, it's not easier, okay? Dealing with my pain and yours makes it harder. Can you see that, that it makes it harder? That's Maggie. Mom, I know that you mean well, but Maggie's gonna take me. So much. I'm sorry I'm early. No, that's okay. I, I want to leave now. Oh, okay. Bianca, I love you. You won't leave her for a second, will you? Of course not. I'll take care of her. Please, Maggie. Please do that. 